Welcome back, everyone. Today does mark one year since we saw the first breathtaking images of the James Webb Space Telescope. It is NASA's largest and most powerful space telescope. And joining us live from NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center just outside of Washington is Nancy Levinson. She is the interim director of the Space Telescope Science Institute. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Uh, thank you, Natasha. I'm so happy to get to share this with you. And I'm happy for you to share it with me. First off, you have a new image to share, and that's what we're talking about here. So tell us about that. Absolutely. So what we're looking at is the nearest star forming region to us. It's only about 400 light years away. So new stars are forming. There are at least 50 that we can find so far. Um, some of them are lighting up their surroundings. Some of them are deeply buried, and that's why it looks dark. We also see jets of, of light coming out, so it's just a gorgeous image, and it's also telling us about the universe. That is just a spectacular image. I can't look at that enough, actually. So how does Webb work with other telescopes to give us you know, a more complete view of the universe? Yeah, that's exactly the point, that we do get a more complete view when we use um, multiple telescopes. So Webb specializes in infrared light, um, but we can't see that with our eyes. We sometimes feel it as heat, whereas the Hubble Space Telescope specializes in the light we see with our eyes. And so here we're looking at two views, one from Hubble and one from Webb of the same region. And so we get different views, more information, and it helps us learn more about the cosmos. And we know that the web took years to develop and launch. Is it performing the way that NASA wanted it to? It's absolutely exceeding all of our expectations, performing even better, giving us absolutely crisp images, um, absolutely sensitive to distant parts of the universe. Um, so it's just been so exciting for scientists around the world. And we're going to be taking a look at some of the other images that the web has captured. Now, what kind of findings have scientists learned from these photos at this point? Sure. One of the great things that we really learned is in the study of galaxies, um, understanding that galaxies formed very early in the universe and built up to become very massive quickly. And so that's an example that we're looking at here is some of those early galaxies. And so that's absolutely a new finding and something that we've got to refine some of, some of what we're learning. Uh, we're also learning a tremendous amount about exoplanets. That is planets that orbit stars outside of our own sun. And so we're able to take measurements of their atmospheres, learn about their composition. And this is really a new area for exploration for us. Wow, just incredible images there. And we can't wait to see what's next for the telescope. Nancy Levinson with NASA. Thank you so much this morning for joining us. My pleasure. Thanks. Take care.